I can't even imagine myself without sport. I was an incredibly active kid. I needed to be able to do something and focus on something. Sport gave me a focus. Sport gave me an outlet for the kind of energy I had. And it gave me an outlet for, no, it gave me, sport gave me like a window onto myself. I could see a part of myself clearly that nothing else gave me that opportunity to see. What you do in sport isn't all that critical in life. It's, it's critical to us at the time when we do it, but it's not all that critical in life. And it gives you a chance to test yourself in a place that's safe, in a place where the outcome isn't all that critical, and yet um, you get to really explore yourself in that situation. So it's a safe place um, to grow up. The sport gets you, allows you to, uh, gives you a sense of discipline. It lets you, um, you're going to have to face disappointment, but you're going to face it in a place where you're safe, uh, where nothing bad's actually going to happen to you in a larger sense. There's, there's only your pride and your energy at stake. It keeps you fit. That's incredibly important. We don't even realize how important that is until we're older. Um, and it gives you something that you get to take throughout your life, a way of of expressing yourself, physically expressing yourself, and throughout, it'll carry you throughout your life. You'll be able to continue to go back to that thing and hopefully find some freedom there, um, even as a 50-year-old. I wouldn't say that sport necessarily makes you happier in the moment. Sport makes you more intense. If you're really involved in it and you really care about it, it makes you more intense, it makes you more focused. That's not necessarily happier, but I think in the longer run, it makes you more balanced and um, happier at times, and certainly a more complete individual. Being able to really work in a, in, a physical, in a physical way, I think, is a really important part of our growing up. You can't just be all head or all um, artistic. There has to be a whole physical component for us to be very well balanced, and sport gives us that. Well, one of the stories that I one of the stories that I remember best, and it's an odd one because it's not of of doing something fabulous. It was the Olympics in '76. We were in my, it's my you know my home country. I'm competing for Canada. I got out on the field, and uh, this was the qualifying round. I got out on the field, and um, I the first height we had to try and clear, I missed, and I missed, and then I missed, and I was out, <laughs> and. I was devastated at just at that moment. It was like, how can this happen? I've put all this time and energy into it. And uh, I, I, I cried. I was, you know, I, that was terrible. How could you just no hide at the Olympic? You can't do any worse than no hiding at the Olympics. I walked away and uh, went out with my parents. They had come out to see it. And I looked around and I realized, I hadn't changed at all. Nothing bad had happened. The world had not come to an end. I was all still OK, and I still knew how to high jump. After that, it made me laugh when I thought about it. And I never had that. There's a fear that many, many people carry with them. I think every athlete does, and every kid does. What happens if I, I do really bad? There's a fear of losing and a fear of doing really poorly. And nothing bad happens. You're still the same person. It was one of the, the most important and, and critical times in my, in my competitive career. I, I, I turned a corner there that never, and never looked back. It was, well, that's not so bad. Nothing, I looked around, nothing had changed. I think what I'd say to most kids is um, this, stick with this. If you really like this, it's, nothing, it's not something that's going to come quick. It's not something where you will suddenly be great at it. But if you love doing it, you stick with it, and, you, and it's going to take a lot of time and a lot of energy. There's not, none of this happens quickly. It's like any good thing in life. It's going to require years and years and years of work. Know that. But in the meantime, it's the, it's the journey along the way that's going to make it so enjoyable and so important a part of your life.